Hi folks, Steve here at Voss Trailers. Today we're going to take a closer look at a 2018 Venture RV Sport Track 3 wall VRK rear kitchen floor plan. Very, very nice. Lots of kitchen in there. You're going to love that. It's 35 foot 1 inch overall length. It's including the tom and it weighs 7,340 pounds. Extremely towable. Tons of features. Let's not waste any time and go through it. Uh, flip up rear rack. It ends up 250 pounds. You want to bring your bike, your generator, some wood, no issues. Roof ladder, backup camera ready, cable and satellite ready. Around the corner, detachable power cord. This trailer will come with two gray tanks, one for the kitchen alone, and the outlet is right here. Talking about the underbelly, it's fully enclosed and heated. Uh, double wiper seals under slide out, big fan of that. Little bomb seal here is in the groove, very nice. And they even had a rain gutter over top of the slide out. Talking about the rain gutter, not too many products on the market that will offer you rain gutters with spout extension on the back wall. Sport Trek does. Very nice feature. Towards the front, we have the gray and the black for the bathroom. So your shower and sink for the gray tanks and the black for the toilet. Comes with a black tank flush to help you clean the black tanks. Outside shower with hot and cold. Fresh water tank fill, your connection to the water system, pass through storage, comes with a one key alike, one key will fit all the locks on the trailer, magnetic holder, your pump is right here behind here, there is already a bypass kit on it, so winterizing bypass is already on there, four Caesar jack, underneath is enclosed and heated, there is also a little blue lights underneath the trailer, at the front, stone guard, Beautiful cap with LED lights. We'll come with two to one pounder uh, propane tanks. Electric tongue jack with LED lights. Adjustable foot pad around the corner here. Uh, it's solar panel ready. We also got a motion detector lights inside. And it also comes with a battery disconnect right here. Outside speakers, not one but two awning. This one's 12 foot. The one on the slide out is 11 and gives you a total of 23 foot. Pretty rare, I have to admit. Aluminum treads for the new steps. There's a blue lights underneath, so you can see a night. Big fold away entry handle. And a patio light, amber patio light, right by the entrance. Inside, Beautiful kitchen, like I mentioned, there's actually a little over 50 foot of counter. So an 8 foot is in the back. Stainless steel sink, pull out tap, sink cover. There's a power outlet on each side. There's a window, tons of above storage, upper cabinet, and there's some as well below. They put shelves in almost every cabinet. I'm a big, big fan, I like that. Plenty of storage. Roof vent, skylight with a blind. Uh, our, little, uh, our little corner here for the stove also has a window. They're always open. There's also a shelf here. Underneath the oven, there is a pot of pan drawers. Stainless steel, stainless steel, stainless steel. It's a big fridge. Our Allen's. There's a dedicated space for a waste bin and all of our drawers, plywood made, ball bearing hardware and the whole drawer extend. And what they did on the island is bolt and opens up to give you some extra storage. As if you would really need that, but it's a great place to hide the chips. Pantry, adjustable shelf, it's a decent size. And our booth, very nice, converts it to a bed. And there's access in the front for the storage below, and they even included a big bin with it. They didn't, definitely didn't miss on the, on the bus on this one. Lights in the slide out on a switch. And a little further towards the living area, we got theater seating, cup holder storage. That reclines. We have an electric fireplace that produces heat. 
40 inch TV, AM FM CD DVD, Bluetooth, USB and auxiliary. Our sofa is threefold, it converts into a bed, there's a power outlet here. Talking about power outlets folks, there's four in the kitchen, so you won't find one, you won't need to look for one to connect your coffee maker, there's four of them. Storage above, talking about the storage above, they added this little cabinet here for uh, charging your phone or your tablets, there's a 110 power outlet and there's a USB. Going towards the bathroom in our hallway, very interestingly, they actually put a window, very nice, that also open. On this wall we have a slide out button, we have our lights on the awning, which I did not mention, but the light on the awnings are on the roller tubes, not on the wall. That's how every other manufacturer is build them. Uh, the lights in and out and uh, our slide out buttons. Our bathroom, foot flush porcelain toilet, very large, very, very large uh, linen closet. Beautiful shower, radius. The glass stays in when you open it up, so if you're finished with the shower, the water will drip in, not outside. There's also a skylight, a power fan. There's a heat vent on the floor. There's a cooling vent on the ceiling. Medicine cabinet. And very importantly, light switch and a switch for uh, the fan as well. In the bedroom, real queen size bed, 60 by 80. There is storage below. It's on gas truck, so you're not gonna break your back lifting it up. The one thing that I really like is we noticed that our bed base is made out of plywood. So that's gonna bring me to the next uh, feature here. We don't get to see that, but our floor is actually decked with plywood. There's, just like at home, floor joist underneath, 16 inch on center, and it's decked with plywood. It's a great way of uh, starting the foundation for a trailer. Unfortunately, uh, that is a very small percentage of manufacturers that build their trailers like that. So, very nice, I'm a big fan. Our shirt closets have been installed first, and the little cabinet in between after. So that gives us more height. They also put a real bar in, and uh, a real hanger will fit. Now, not to waste the space, they cut the back, and they put a night table on each side of the bed with a power outlet on each side and a USB outlet on this one. <coughs> to uh, finish the look, padded headboard, designer bedspread, lights, storage above, roof vent, a window on each side, and of course, connection for our TV. Last feature in this bedroom is of course the light switch for the main, the main light when you come in, right by the door when you come in. Folks, uh, absolutely incredible. Again, 35 foot, 1 inch, that's including the tongue. It weighs 7,300 pounds, it's a little over 7,300 pounds. Got a beautiful, beautiful kitchen. If you like to cook, this is something that you need to look at. Uh, the sitting arrangement is incredible, very comfy. Um, what else? I don't think it's missing anything. I think we've done it, folks. Thanks for watching.